Welcome to another MTD CNC Technical Corner. Now, today we're talking about the woodwork industry. Nathan, it's not something I know very much about, I'm afraid. Um, what, what are the challenges facing the woodworking industry? How do they work? How do they operate? So in the woodworking industry, a lot of our key challenges are productivity. So spitting out as much work as we can. Machine downtime is major money lost in the woodworking industry. So we need to get parts off those machines as quickly as we can, as many as we can. Um, so realistically, with AlphaCam, it's designed and orientated around trying to really power and engineer that for customers. So try and spit as much work out as we can. Programming times reduce increasingly every day with automation that we integrate into AlphaCam. And why is it programming time that is the only kind of factor in, in, in keeping a machine running? So obviously in woodworking, it's a different sort of machine as you'd see to an engineering environment. So there's no real vice work involved in a, in a, in a woodworking environment. So really unloading the machine isn't really that much of a big deal. Um, that's quite an easy aspect of working in the routing industry. Um, the biggest aspect really is, is the programming time because if you've got a cabinet, for example, of say 50 components and you're trying to program that full cabinet, then do a nest of those components. You, you know, if you're looking at individually programming each component, you could take you a week to do the whole cabinet. Um, with our integrated automation and alpha cam, it could take you five, 10 minutes, potentially once you get up and going. And that's how we've really tried to engineer this to really speed up the industry. Okay, and let's dig into exactly how you do that. Cause that sounds like a wild mm -hmm. claim. Um, exactly which parts of automation in AlphaCam have been optimized to make this programming time so quick? So we start with our 3D geometry. So predominantly geometry tends to be 2D. Um, so when I say 3D geometry, a lot of people look at me very confused. Um, so in AlphaCam, what we do is we can create three-dimensional geometries. And to do that, we have a setting in there which we can tra tra track the top Z level and the bottom Z level of a component. So uh, say you had two pieces of material, one's 18 mil, one's 30 mil you could then essentially apply a piece of machining to these geometries that will just track the top and bottom and use the same toolpath for both without having to reconfigure how many depths of cut you want to use. That's all automated into AlphaCam defined from your tool library. Um, say you wanted to go a bit deeper, you've got settings in there to all prove this out and you can actually save these toolpaths away um, and reapply them as and when you need to. Um, again, saving you awful lots of time if you've got different thickness of material, you know, um, different uh, cutters you're using with different depths of cut, we can all automate that fully. And it's not just um, managing the Z levels and components, there's, there's a lot more optimizations in AlphaCam to reduce programming time too, what are those? The nesting engine, and that allows us to give a really, really good nest of our sheet of components. In a, you know, a two, if you're looking at a 2,440 millimeter sheet, um, you can get a real tight nest in there, save it, you know, giving you a good sheet yield, saving waste on components um, and material. We also do an automated offcut generation with an alpha cam where you can give a minimum X and Y value of what sort of offcut size you want to select. And again, using our saved away styles and uh, Z levels, you can automate that machining correctly. Uh, we also have waste management where you can, if you imagine you've got a a large piece of material which isn't thick enough to be an off cut but it's too long to handle what you can do is create a automated waste management path which will use a style again and come in and just trim up that material making it easier to manage to get off the machine and normally in this industry you kind of have these big assemblies all made out of wood that are going to go to make a cabinet or a drawer mm -hmm. or some some piece of furniture uh, do people have to kind of pull those in and separate each model individually? So in AlphaCam, what you can do is you can bring in a full solid assembly. So for example, if you bring in a cabinet or all those components I mentioned earlier, uh, AlphaCam will individually split that automatically into all the separate files and flatten them down for you. So then it allows you to automate to go in and program each individual part yourself. So you don't have to break your cabinets down in a, an external CAD package before you load them in as individual parts or break them down in AlphaCam, it will do it all for you automatically saving you an awful lot of time from design to manufacture. And there's a certain feature that brings these three automation features together. And off camera, you say this blows people's minds. What is it? And it sounds a bit too good to be true. So our product automation manager, which is in AlphaCam, is essentially a giant database, which does bring all three of these together, where you can use the automated machining styles, you can load in solid assemblies, DXF files, native AlphaCam files, um, even CSV files 
um, and essentially process everything automatically uh, by simply pressing a button. Um, it will bring in solid models, for example, extract all the geometry, set all your Z levels and your tool directions, apply all the styles to the correct layers you're working with, and nest the parts if you want to nest them. Um, then it will also generate you a list of reports, labels, and output your NC code. Okay, and how does it work, and what are the time savings? So essentially, working-wise, time-saving-wise, um, you could process 50 components in about five minutes, sometimes a bit quicker, depending on your PC. But about 50, 50 components in about five minutes is about an average. Um, this cabinet you can see on the screen here, um, this is actually Automation Manager. What I'm gonna do is just go through a few of the files here. Obviously in here we've got um, a lot of the database and you can see here just extracting all the geometries, applying all the tool paths, nesting it all down. Wow, and it processes each component each as component if it was programming, you were programming them individually. Exactly, yeah, exactly. But that. I guess you need to have all the templates set up, you need to have your tool paths chosen, you need to know how you're gonna make these components before yeah. you throw it in. Yeah, so there is manual intervention. It's not a, a complete fully automated process. You do have to have the manual intervention at the start. But essentially, once you've got this set up, um, it should run religiously. Um, and we have customers at the moment that will only use Automation Manager for everything they do programming-wise. And hopefully that's whet people's appetite as to the automation available to help reduce their programming time, but that's mostly for the, the power users of AlphaCam. Mm -hmm. For someone who's now interested in the product as to what it can do for them, what, what, if you give us an overview of the CAM system, what, 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 what its capabilities are? So we do attack a large volume of industry. Um, from woodworking to engineering uh, to stone cutting. Um, so we example stone, massive gantry style, five axis machines with giant saws, lots of coolant. Um, we do have uh, tool path creation in there specifically for the stone industry. Um, I guess it's probably quite a messy environment. Yeah, very messy, yeah. <laughs> um, again, milling, we've got tricordial rough and finish, waveform machining, so tool path creation specifically designed at cutting hard materials or metals. Um, turning, twin turret machining, you've got uh, C-axis lathe machining and just standard conventional turning. Um, wire EDM machining and uh, profiling, so laser cutting and water jet machining. So not only are you laser focused on the woodworking industry, but if someone's got a little EDM machine on the side or a, yeah. a little lathe, they can also program those two, which exactly. is really nice for, exactly, for yeah. generalist machine shops as well. Yes, exactly that. And so if people want more information about the product, how can they get in touch, Nathan? Uh, Hexagon.com is always a good one, or our new platform, Nexus, is another one to go have a look on. Um, you can put sales inquiries in there, and there's a lot of information about Alphacam. <music>